Hi there, my name's Andy Hillier and today's guitar lesson is going to be on Ballad of a Homeschooled Girl from the new Olivia Rodrigo uh, album. It's a great song, it's great fun to play, bit of electric guitar. I'm going to teach you the whole song, but just before I do, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, give me a like on the video, press the notifications, leave me some comments in the comment section, let me know what song I should do next, let me know where in the world you're from. Uh, and if you love what I'm doing, you want to support me, support the channel, and you want to print the tabs off for this, then I'll put them on my Patreon page. And can I quickly give a little uh, advert out? I've just done a music theory for guitarists course on my Patreon page as well. So go and check that out if you want to learn about music theory. Made really easy for the guitar. Uh, I'll leave a link to that in the description. My guitar is in standard tuning. Uh, I've got a quite a distorted kind of sound. <laughs> Uh, I'm using a Sir uh, Riot distortion pedal, but any distortion pedal or just crank the gain up on your amp. Okay, so the intro sounds like this. Really simple little part to play. We're going to B13 and we play it three times. And then two B11s and then to G13. So slowly you get. I'm using my third finger on the 13 and my first finger on the 11. So you go. And you just play that four times uh, for the intro. So one, two, three, four. So that's the intro. It then goes on to the verse. Now, there's no guitar playing at the beginning of the verse. It's just the bass, but the bass part is really cool. So I've written out the bass part, and we can play it on guitar. Sounds like this. So to play that E4, and then A4 going da da da, I'd go down, up, down with the plectrum to get it fast enough. If you struggle to play that, that um, up to speed, you could just play two um, A4s there. So you could go, or if you want, you go, and then two D4s. So the first bar of the verse, bar five, goes. And if you can, slide off that a bit to go. Um, and without that extra skip, go. Into the next bar, it starts the same, but then plays E2 twice, and then E4. So bar six goes. Uh, and that repeats round four times. Uh, let's just play it round twice. Here we go. One, two, three, four. So like I say, that repeats four times in the verse. Uh, and then we get an overdubbed guitar, like another guitar part going over the top of it, uh, which sounds like this. So nice easy part to play. First finger on G5, second finger on D6. Two, uh, one hit on that. Then go down two frets, so your first finger's on G3, second finger on D4, and you're going to do two hits on there, then move back to where you were and do two hits going into the next bar. So, so far you got... That's the first hit into bar eight, and then you do it again, um, going down to fret three, two hits, and then back to fret five for two hits, and then again. And then the last three hits are just on the five and the six. So the whole line slowly goes. Two, three. Two, three. Two, three. Two, three. Two, three. Uh, and that line repeats, so you play that line twice. So it's just moving the same shape up and down. Uh, and then it takes us to, um, I've written this as a bridge, it almost feels like a chorus, but um, the chorus comes after this. So the bridge part goes like this, uh, first two bars go. So some power chords. First one, 
first finger E4, third finger A6, little finger on D6. Top three strings, you're gonna hit it twice. We're then gonna go to an F power chord, which is your first finger on A8, third finger D10, little finger on G10, and you do four hits on this going. Uh, so one, two, three, four. So bar 11 slowly goes. We then go to A3 with D5 and G5. Two hits on that. Then up one fret to A4 with D6 and G6. Four hits on that. So the first two bars of that bridge go. And it repeats that three times. And then you carry on into bar 14. And it's doing the same thing, the same chords. But just does one hit on that um, power chord, the C sharp, which is, or I should say D flat. Um, A4 with D6 and G6, just one hit on that. So it's almost like the same thing going around four times. You just don't do the last three hits um, on that D flat chord. Uh, so that's the bridge, let's try playing the whole of the bridge, here we go, one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's the bridge, the chorus is the same chords on the first um, two bars of this line. So bars 15 and 16, exactly the same thing. And it does that twice, so only twice through, because um, there's a little, after that little break, then you do this bit twice. And then bars 17 and 18 are a bit like the bass part we did in the uh, verse. Now you could play the bass part, but if you want to play it more like heavy guitar, it goes this. So this E4, A6 and D6, one hit on that. Move down a string to A4 with D6 and G6 and go down, up, down. Then down to a G flat power chord. First finger E2, third finger A4, little finger D4, two hits on that. So bar 17 goes. Then bar 18 starts the same. This time uh, we put an extra hit on E, uh, so after we've done the two hits on A, uh, E2, A4 and D4, you move up two frets to E4, A6 and D6. So it's an extra hit on there. So, uh, and those two bars, bar 17 and 18 repeat. So let's play that, here we go. That then goes to um, the verse, where you could just play the bass part, there's no overdub on that. It then goes um, to the bridge and then to the chorus. And then there's a little breakdown part, which goes this. Uh, and actually repeats around three times. So for that we're going E4 with the first finger, A6 second finger, then G, five with the third finger and then little finger on D6 so you go then we're going to take our first finger to A8 second finger on D10 second finger B9 and then little finger on G8 so you go so so far the first bar of the breakdown middle eight bar 19 goes Then take that same shape down to the third fret and play A3, D5, G4, and then um, after the B4, we've got G5. So. Then A4, D6, G6, and then D6. So bar 20. So bars 19 and 20 go.
and that repeats three times round, and then we're just playing those sort of same chords, but um, playing four on each. So, go. so E4 power chord, um, so a power chord from E4, A6, and D6. Then A8 with D10 and G10, four times. A3 with D5 and G5, four times. Move up one fret and hit it once. So bars 21 and 22 go. So that's the middle um, eight or the breakdown part. Uh, first two bars of that line, repeat three times and then carry on. And then you just go to the chorus um, where it plays the first two bars, repeats, and then plays the second two bars, um, bars 17 and 18, uh, and just keeps repeating that till the end of the song. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed this little guitar lesson and found it useful. If you have, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, it really does help me out, as does giving me a like, a thumbs up on the video. Press the notification so you can see when my videos come out. Um, and I do read every comment, so please leave me a comment. It helps your uh, algorithm, or algorithm, however you say it, uh, hopefully get some more views. So just say hi if you want to say hi. Let me know where in the world you're from. Uh, and any ideas for songs for future videos would be amazing. And if you want to support me, support the channel, keep me going, uh, and you want to print the tabs off of this, then you can support me on my Patreon uh, page. I'll leave a link to that in the description. I've also got my new uh, music theory course on there for guitarists. Uh, I simplify music theory and apply it all on the guitar. It's over an hour's worth of um, content on that. So go and check that out. Uh, my music theory for guitarist course on my Patreon page, links in the description. Well, thanks for watching this, I do really appreciate it. I've been Andy Hillier, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.